Don't move. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And everything is alright. Jogging. Right. And JC. Woo! Let's go. Yeah. Citywide news when I blow the ozone. I leave my mark. Yeah, I'm logo loco. Got no style. I'm a polo dodo. These women want rings, but I don't know Frodo. Wake up, sit down. I ain't going to work. If I go get drowned, I'ma go in a hearse. If I don't get found, I'ma go in reverse. I could've sold this out while I was throwing the birds. I don't throw no shade when I park the guy See three white girls trying to spark the Bobby. I'll be rustling in the paint, boy. It's hard to stop me. Are you a remix or a carbon copy? Like T Town, and we partying hard now. We used to use fakes, but we buy in the bar now. 2020, I'll be out and flying the car down. Let's roll back. What you trying to start now? Working out, but I'm keeping my chin up. But jogger never fall, I don't even fall in love. No, I ain't complaining, that's when everyone give up. The only shot I ever see you making is bitch cup. Oh, damn, who's that dude? Everybody told me trying to do this was a bad move. I've been learning more than I would ever in a classroom. Miracle in nature, all my dogs eating cat food. Holidays, they don't feel like holidays. And I got a little money, but I got a lot of plays. I don't need to write a will, I got a will to dominate. Put it on my Mickey Mantle, I'll be in a Hall of Fame. Took about three L's, but I live life large. Send a man up to the moon, you can't touch my stars. Everybody I want clothes and like all nice cars But I ain't sitting on a fence, I want the whole nine yards gentlemen today is the day the first time in about two and a half years I get my hair cut somewhere else I'll go into why and I'll go into where in a little bit it's no biggie don't worry there's been no massive barber fallout I absolutely love Ted Barbers love them to bits but the time is now and I'll explain why in just a sec. Boom! Sick fade, to be fair. I mean, I don't like what he's done with the tarps. Like, I, I don't like, he blow dried it and then sprayed it straight away with hairspray and my hair just looks wet. Um, and I, I don't really go for that look. I go for the more matte kind of look, but the fade is what I was after and the fade is what I was worried about. And so I'm glad that, you know, he, he, he didn't cock my hair up. So I'm just, I'm gonna go home, wash this stuff out of my hair and um, style it myself, but anyway, it was really funny, you know, the, the guy, you know when you go into a new barber's and I don't know, that it's, it's just awkward and odd and I was trying to explain what I wanted with my mask on and yeah, I mean, it, it, <laughs> I can't even, I can't even explain it really, but it, it, overall, a, a good experience, you know, um, basically to cut long story short, Whoa! Good long story short, I won't go into it too much, but to to basically sum it up, I may be soon in a situation where it won't make any sense and it won't be economically feasible for me to travel to my current barber, um, which is quite upsetting, to be honest. So, um, I've tested out a new location, which kind of just makes sense for like moving forwards and stuff. 
um, if all goes to plan over the next kind of few months and, and, and things like that. But haircuts are a really big thing for me. I, I like my hair. I, I like how I, you know, this is what I mean. Like, I'm going to go home and wash this. Uh, I don't like that this has been sprayed. I've never used hairspray in, in my life, I don't think. Not only that, haircuts are a thing on the channel. We made it to Lad Bible, ladies and gentlemen. Myself and my old man, we made it to Lad Bible. We made it uh, April, start a lockdown where like I kind of just got to the point with my hair. When people realised lockdown was going to continue back, like back way back then, like eight months ago, nine months ago, I thought, shit, Dad, you're going to have to cut my hair. And we whipped out the £15 trimmer from Argos. What is our haircut experience? You say zero. Well, I have a haircut pretty much every week, and like every guy, I have my favourite barbers. I even travel 40 miles each time so that they can actually be the ones to cut my hair. Ted's Barbers, Nottingham. Recently, I've had them every week until now. Obviously, if you're watching this and it's in the future, well, it's 2020 right now, and shit is at the fan, and everything is closed. You should wash your hands. You. That's a pig. I like getting my hair cut, I like the experience of it, and plus it makes you feel good, right? So I like getting a fresh haircut. I'm probably gonna get one tomorrow, but anyway, that's besides the point. So we started watching a ton of skin fade videos and they were actually really good, really helpful, millions of views, and these haircuts actually look sick. But they're all using clippers and razors and stuff that's worth hundreds of pounds, and we're trying to emulate the same result with a 15 pound trimmer from Argos. And I don't know about you, but I think he did a pretty damn good job. So good that the people in the comment section that had never met either of us before were convinced, absolutely convinced that my dad, who has been a kitchen fitter and, and all that kind of stuff, kitchens, bedrooms, bathrooms, like, he's really good at doing that. But he's not a friggin' barber. He's been a kitchen fitter for 40 years, not a barber, but the people in the comment section were somehow thinking that the old, my old man was, was was a barber. <laughs> so, you know, he did a good job. What? But anyway, I'm gonna go and, I'm, I'm gonna go and wash this hairspray out my hair. Okay. Hello. Hello. That looks nice. You think? Yeah, do you not like it? Mm -hmm. It looks a bit wet. Well, yeah, but it's pretty... The fade's good. Yeah. But like... Yeah, he, oh, no, I like that. he just he blow dried it and hair sprayed it. <laughs> <coughs> Hello, everybody. I just realised um, seven and a half minutes into the video that I haven't actually said. What's up, guys? Liam here. Welcome back to LSJ TV. Drop the video a like if you have not already. Subscribe if you are new. Merry Christmas. You might be watching this on Christmas Day, it's Christmas Eve Eve right now. And I have just got off the phone to someone who is, uh, someone who you have absolutely no idea uh, who it is. You won't understand, it's very difficult to explain to us, I suppose. But a very important person for my life and my career. I've just got off the phone and um, it was very positive, should we say. Very, very positive. 2021 is going to start off with a bang. We've got something big, like six years worth of work big coming um, very, very soon. I'm, I am shocked, stunned, buzzing, um, everything in between. And uh, everything that is happening at the beginning of next year is all down to you guys. So I, uh, I can't thank you enough for that. Links in the description box. <laughs> Help a brother out. So, um, the title of today's video, something along the lines of like a transformation in my physique, one year difference in my physique, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I want to kind of address something that actually kind of crossed my mind personally, um, thinking that I hadn't made that much progress. You know, I spent too long in death. So, you know, how you doubt yourself sometimes. I had I had about five minutes where I doubted myself, and it inspired me to to create this video, right? So I went back and looked at a physique update from a few months ago, um, from kind of towards the end of, of my bulk. Um, it wasn't the end, but it was kind of getting there, getting towards the end. And um, I look, look good, you know, I probably don't have much more or much less muscle mass than what I have right now. Um, but the difference in my physique, the main difference, the main 
factor, if you like, is it's just it's the body fat. It's the body fat that is there that isn't right now. You know, I've got a, I've got an okay jawline still, and it's you know it's December twenty third. This time last year, my jawline was just it was just not there. You know, I figured that'd be fun. And it's pretty fun so far. And this bodes into the kind of five year plan thing that I mentioned a lot of times on the channel. I've been training for about four years now, four years and like a couple of months or something or whatever, I don't know. And I've basically had the plan in my head the entire time. It's very difficult to kind of explain, but I've had the idea in my head of getting slightly leaner at the end of the, the, the diet and then getting slightly less first year fat at the end of the book. Getting slightly leaner than I did last year, but then bulking up, but still not quite as high body fat as before. And then that will continue for about five years to a point where it will be relatively easy to maintain where I'm at. And I feel like we are getting closer to that point. Because if you take a look at the footage, this was from a video back in January, right? Posing and I'm under good light. Like There, there are lines in my shoulders, which, you know, I have decent shoulders. I've got the old man to thank for that. They're very strong. They're, they're quite dense, you know. And the, the muscles in my arms, in my, in my everything, you know, is there. But it's covered in this just layer that just isn't there at this point in time when it was this time last year. So, this brings me round to what I want to say, right? This is not me saying, look how massive I am. Because I, I just realised, it just came to me that it could appear like I'm trying to say, that's not what I'm saying at all. Um, this is my, my outcry to you guys to take videos and to take photos and to just... It's vain, and you're not gonna like doing it. Believe it or not, <laughs> this might be difficult to believe, right? Believe it or not, I don't actually enjoy the the posing part. I find it odd. I, I, I don't enjoy the standing there on camera going. I think it's really weird, right? But I do it because it's part of the gig, and I love making videos, and that's part of the process. That's where every job has something that you're not 100% comfortable with. Every job has something that you're not 100% in on you know you don't there's, no, there's nothing that is is perfect you know and that is that thing about doing this job i.e making videos and producing content for me that that's the weird thing that's the only thing that kind of comes unstuck um but i'm glad that i do do it regardless of me not liking it because i can then look back at that on days like well it wasn't today it was a few days ago it came to i needed the video title you know it was Anyway, on those days where I'm not 100% sure, because they do happen, it happens to Mr. Olympia, let alone little old me that just goes to the gym every now and then and enjoys it, you know? It happens. You have those days where you feel like you've not made the progress, where you feel like you could have done this, you should have done that. But if you take those videos and you take those photos in consistent as possible lighting, I like to wear this similar clothes. I have that purple vest that I wear. I like putting that on every now and then, see how that fits in comparison to the last time I, I put it on. You know, things like that. I like doing things like that because then I can look back at it and go, hmm, yeah, okay. Done all right there, to be fair. Or, you know, it could maybe still work on that a little bit. But, yeah, you know what? Still got less less fat on the old face. You've actually got a jawline. You know, it's, it's, it's better than it was this time last year. And that's all you can ask for, really. You can only ask to be better one way or another, whether that is building a bit of muscle, losing a bit of fat, whether it's in school, whether it's in college, in, jo in your job, whatever. You can only ask of yourself to be that little bit better than you were yesterday. That is all that you can do. That is, that's it, right? You can't expect to go from zero to 100 overnight. Overnight sensations on, so on social media happen all the time, right? But you can't bank on that. You just have to be that little bit better than you were yesterday. And eventually, enough days will kind of go by to the point where you're up here, you know? But then by the time you're up here, your standards will be up here. So you'll always want more. But as long as you are better than you were yesterday, that is all you can do. That is all you can ask for. You can't ask any more of yourself than the best that you can give. And if you have done that and you don't get the outcome, the desired outcome, then you can think, ah, okay, maybe I'm a bit pissed. However, if you do do it, then you think, well, I, I did my best. That was one thing that my parents always used to say to me about exams and stuff. I used to stress out a lot as a kid. I'm way more laid back now than I used to be as a kid. But when I was taking exams as a kid, I'd be like, oh, well, my mum would just be like, Liam, you've done the revision, you've done everything you can, and you've done your best. That is all you can do. And only now when I'm older do I realise just how good advice that is, you know? You can only do your best. You can only be that little bit better than you were yesterday. 
It's as simple as that. And I feel like, personally, I've done that, you know? And it's nice to look back at the videos. So, on that note, cheers. This is a celebratory one. You, uh, you don't know what for yet, but you will do soon. It's a white monster. Cheers to the old man. He doesn't know yet either, but I'm gonna tell him tonight. And that is gonna round off today's video. Thank you all so much for your support. Don't get yourselves down on the days where you don't feel 100%. Take a look back at those old photos. And if you haven't made the progress that you wanted, maybe take another step back and think, okay, maybe I could be doing this, I could be doing that. And then take, take a look at the same photos in another six months time. And then you will see the difference because you'll have corrected your wrongs, you know? Thank you all so much for your support. So, so, I cannot express, I cannot put into words um, how thankful I am for everything uh, that you guys do for me. You know, you guys help me a lot more than you would think. You know, lovely messages, awesome comments. You know, we have such an amazing community here and um, we are building something special. Thank you so much for your support. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Together, we will grow. Merry Christmas, everyone. And I'll see you in the next one.